So what's going on everybody? It's your boy Quest X and uh, I really wanted to talk about this fight. This is a very interesting fight for me because I'm I'm both fans I'm fans of rather both of these fighters. Uh Jojo Diaz or Joseph Diaz, they just call him Jojo, um, is very impressive to me. Considering the fact that he's got an informal boxing coach, his boxing coach is his father, who had no formal training, never fought before, and basically is training his son on the fly. Uh, Jojo Diaz is a very, very skilled fighter. He's a very skilled featherweight. Uh, and now, since the WBC has mandated Gary Russell Jr., to fight Jojo, I'm kind of caught, caught between a rock and a hard place. I like Gary Russell. I feel that Gary Russell's maturity in boxing, or let me put it this way, not maturity in the sense of personality, but in his fighting style and the fight game and gaining fight experience has been god-awfully slow, okay? And I, that was one of the major reasons I attributed his loss to Lomachenko. Um, and it wasn't like it was a blowout. So, regardless of what you feel, I think Gary Russell needed to step on the gas a bit. And I know he had to do a rebuilding process. Because after you take a loss in boxing, it does set you back a bit. This fight, low-key, is sleeper, sleeper of the year for fight of the year candidate. Put it that way. All right? Because both of these men are very good at uh, punch positioning, very good at footwork. Uh, Jojo Diaz is probably, I mean, for a guy who, like I said, is, in, is being trained in an informal fashion. Because uh, to give you guys a little bit of backstory, Jojo Diaz's dad, it was a truck driver. Like he was not into the sport of boxing and, and, and then he decided to train his son He's learning literally on the job, like Jojo is learning on the job and in the ring. And it, it, it's quite impressive to see where they've gone. Um, I'm really high on Jojo Diaz. Like I said, I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. I'm going to be honest with you. One or two things could happen in this fight. Either we get a gangbuster fight of the year candidate, where the younger, younger man in that of Jojo Diaz is able to... Um, somehow find a way to beat Gary Russell I'm right now still leaning more towards Gary Russell but I, I really at this point in time I can't make a judge as to who I see winning this fight because I'm going to be honest with you um, although uh, Gary Russell has not fought any kind of really stiff competition that I feel is legitimate for a guy with his talent his speed and his power what he should be fighting Jojo D, the same could be said about Jojo Diaz. Now, he just did have a tough, tough fight. Um, he, I think he was on HBO Boxing. And if I'm, if I'm correct, he fought a guy who was relatively unknown. But in Mexico, he was known. We just have no fight footage on him. And the guy acquitted himself very, very well. I mean, it, it was a chess match. And that's what I like about Jojo. Jojo is able to... Um, he thinks he, he's a thinking fighter. He's not somebody who goes in there blindly just to go and hurt you. Um, he's a very cerebral tactician, which is why, if, if if anything, we saw when Gary Russell fought Lomachenko, if he's in there with another tactician, it, he can kind of get flustered. And this is why I'm just like, it's a toss up. But then, you know, <laughs> Gary Russell got that power at Featherweight. He can knock JoJo out. But also the other thing that falls into play so far Jojo has shown he has a chin so this is why all this holy all these for, formula right all these uh, different ingredients are mixing in this formula for a fight of the year candidate in my opinion let me know what you guys think in the comment section below don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit that notification button so you know when I upload new content let me know what you guys think are you guys looking forward to this fight have you guys even paid attention to any of these two careers thus far and uh, give me your opinions.